Hello everyone, it is Prodigy Queen again. Today we will be looking at games that people made on Scratch about Prodigy. Now, before we begin this video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on whenever I post. So, as you know, Scratch is a platform where people can make games and post their creations and, um, yeah, so we're, we're gonna go ahead and go there and check what people have made about Prodigy. And I'm really curious because there's a lot of talented people on Scratch and I'm sure a ton of them must like Prodigy too. And, um, so basically St. Patrick's Day is coming up, so is Easter, and so is my birthday. And there, I have a bunch of emails once again. So, one thing that confuses me is that there are two February number boxes, and they're the exact same. There's a part one and a part two, but this one has the same exact items as this one over here. So, if anyone knows what that is, please let me know in the comments down below, or I'll just open it and find out. And then, we have these treasure items thingies, treasure track. It looks interesting, and I will go ahead and do it, but right now, we're going to go ahead and switch over to Scratch. Here we are at Scratch. If you would like to go here, just go ahead and search scratch.org and you will be transported to here. And we're just going to search Prodigy in the search bar and let's see what we get. So I, um, there's trending and popular. So I think we'll go ahead and look at this one even though I'm kind of questioning the name of it. Phantom Ruby vs Prodigy. I think this might be a Sonic thing because I saw Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's go ahead and look at one that tries to like demonstrate the game. This one says it's a work in progress and it looks nicely constructed. So let's go ahead and look at it. Read all of this first. Okay, so don't love and favor it, but it took lots of effort and it's a recreation of Prodigy. Okay, let's go ahead and look at it now. Tutorial, press yes, press Y for yes and N for no. Let's go ahead and press Y. Click on the white circle, or what the arrow is pointing at, and then type in a name. Okay, let's put our name in. Well, not a real name. Put Andrea. And let's type in a password. Let's say, I love Prodigy123. Because why not? And then let's log in. Whoops, forgot to press the check. Okay, let's log in. Select a gender. So I'm assuming this one was a girl, because I slightly more hair. So let's go ahead and click her. And click on the skin to change the color of the skin and click on the eye to change the color of the eye. This is really cute. Okay, let's see. Um, let's make the eyes green, because why not? Well, let's continue. Are you sure you like this choice? Yes or no? Let's say yes. This is so cute. I wonder how much effort it took to draw all of this. Okay, so where are we? What is this? This is our inventory, and we have stats and money. Let's go to the pet shop, maybe? Where are we in this game? This is very confusing. Uh, well, they did say it's a work in progress, so... I'm not sure, but this is really nice, and I kind of want to heart it, but I'm not logged in currently, so I'll go ahead and do that later. This is made by Bolt B, in case you want to play this yourself. So let's go ahead and check out some more. Okay, so here we are, and let's see, there's a Prodigy Life Pack, Simple, Easy Money, etc. And here's the instructions. Okay, so my brother's friend told me about, oh, my friend's brother, actually, told me about this a few days ago, and we're supposed to press things. So this is as far as I know, an iPad-only glitch or hack. It allows you to make your device think the date or time is different. So step one, go into your settings app. The general section, you should see a date or time option, and then click it. So you're going to have to switch to mobile for this, like your iPad, because I don't think anyone would want to play Prodigy on your phone. All the buttons are too small to click. But if you do, just go to settings and click on the date and time. You can pause the video and go do that. Here's the next step. Turn the set automatically option off. Then you should see the real time and date appear in blue. Just click it. And then set the date and time to anywhere in the past. The date doesn't matter as events, such as Winterfest, will still be going. I just set the time around 8 p.m. As both wheels, you can spin both the wheels, you know, the wheels in Lamplight Town. And then you log into Prodigy and you should see the daily login button. If 
if it's not there, I'm not sure how to help, but assuming it is, you can spin the wheel to, to daily events and etc. The step 5 is you can fight the snowman, fight Pippet, and get extra stuff, and repeat as many times. Repeat as many times as you can. But you should change the normal time back when you're done. This is really cute because um, it says, I know how to get free membership. Okay, that's cool. Let's see if there is one about membership too, because this is really helpful. I actually used to do this a while back, don't tell anyone, but I used to be an iPad player too, and I would actually do this so I can get extra items, because I am not waiting until 8 p.m. or past 3 p.m. just to spin the wheel. Anyways guys, that's all for today. It was a really short video, but we just looked at some scratch games and I might be doing a part two, not sure. But next time I'll definitely come prepared with games that I know will work and are really fun. Once again, if you haven't liked and subscribed already, please consider doing so and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out whenever I post. I love you guys all so much and I'll see you next time. Bye guys! I'm not afraid of